some hairspray, several layers. Good morning, my name is Carissa. I am a Canadian flight attendant. And yes, I know the lighting in here is truly, truly awful, but there is nothing I can do about it. This is just how the apartment I'm crashing at is like. So I am just about to go on a three day domestic pairing. And so I think I have three short flights today and I'll end up in Edmonton tomorrow. I have two flights, we'll stay the night in Ottawa and then the next day I dead head to Toronto and then operate from there to Vancouver. So that is the plan. However, with all the snowstorms happening all over Canada, things are a little unpredictable right now because so many people have been reassigned and already my schedule has changed a little bit. So we are only 100% certain that we are 100% not certain. So I just finished my hair and I'm gonna go put on the rest of my uniform and then I am off to the airport. And this time I'm not gonna forget my scarf because that happens a lot. Walk into the place, dispatch you from a race. My heart, it started racing. The crowd across the way. Was on your face and then I'm from the eighties. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel farther away. Wait on a moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. Oh, One more to go, and then we're at the hotel. Definitely, definitely ready for it. Lost in in a daze, I caught your sudden gaze, and time is started racing. But moments tend to fade, and you're too far away. So we are now in the hotel in Edmonton. And as you can see, it was a very stressful flight as I went entirely gray, I jest. It was just, I really overdid the dry shampoo just now. I was not really aware of what was happening or paying attention to what I was doing. This was the result, so. I'm just eating a kale and chicken salad because even though it's almost midnight, I am very hungry. It was a really good flight, or three flights were really good, and the passengers and the crew were absolutely lovey, lovey, lovely, and we were on the 737 MAX, which is probably my least favorite plane, but I did galley, and I do enjoy doing galley on a narrow body, so that made me happy. I'm just going to finish my salad now and get to sleep, so I am ready for day two. And hopefully in the morning, this will have absorbed or something. Good morning. It's day two of the pairing. And um, this happened. So obviously it just kind of goes back on there, but... I think they need to know there's an issue. So I'm going to leave that there. So today we go to Vancouver on a 320, I believe. And then we go to Ottawa on a 321. So I love the Airbus, so it'll be a wonderful day. The crew is the same as yesterday, which is lovely. It's always fun when you can go on multiple days with the same people. So that is very magical, très magique. And now I'm just going to finish getting my uniform on and think about how I never want to do another layover in Edmonton ever again because it is so cold. I could do summer, I could do summer, but I think that's, that's, that's the, the maximum. But we go where we're told, don't we? We do. And fun, fun fact, I have to get my COVID test in Ottawa on my layover. So why I have to do it is because when I'm done my pairing on Saturday night, when I land in Vancouver, I have a flight right after that to go back to Aruba. So 
in order to do that, I have to have a negative PCR test. And so I cannot get that done when I land because there's literally no time to do it plus get results back. So I'm doing a very rapid test. I believe I get the results within two hours and the price tag definitely reflects that. But I mean, what are you gonna do? So there's a big problem with flying back home because they're cutting out the flights. So I do need to get home ASAP. So we are going to do our best. We're going to pay the piper, get a COVID test in Ottawa, which is going to be very tight on scheduling because the next morning I have to deadhead to Toronto and so I have to have the test done before that. So I guess I'll just Uber there and do it as fast as I can. So I'll see you on the plane. hotel and I am beyond pleased for this hotel has a bath which I cannot tell you how happy it makes me. The room is super nice and the bed looks very soft so on a level of 1 to 10 I am full of levels of serotonin. 10 out of 10 serotonin. So I will be up in the morning for my test and then hopefully after two flights, I will be on my way back home. We hope. Good morning. So it is day three, the final day in this pairing. And I realized last night, I didn't even talk about the trip yesterday. It was so good. The captain and the pilot were so nice. The captain even bought us cookies in the airport which were delicious. I had this vegan chocolate gluten-free macaroon, which was mm. later in the flight. I was able to go up to the flight deck and look at the views. I had this tradition when I started being a flight attendant where I would go up to the flight deck and I would always tell one dad joke. I know, it's a thing. It is a thing. Today, for old times sake, I told them pick a category and have 10 seconds. So he picked fishing, because he was a fisherman, and my dad joke, what was my dad joke? It was, why did the grandpa fish need his grandson fish to help him? And the answer was to help him get offline. I know. But I did come up with it in three seconds. So it's nice to know that my dad jokes are still there, they're still there within me. So this is the grand capital of our country. Looking very snowy and cold and not fond of it. But it's a beautiful city and I wish I had time to walk around and get a pokey bowl. There's a really good place nearby. However, I only have time to jump in an Uber and go get my COVID test. What a way to spend your layover. However, it is needed and hopefully tonight after both my shifts, I'll be on my way home with the results of said COVID test. So in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna go downstairs and yes, I'm going to be in uniform because as soon as I get back from the test, I really have to go. I'm going to deadhead to Toronto. So I need to be back in time to catch the shuttle from the hotel. So no Pokeballs for me today, but I will return at some point, I imagine. So off to the COVID test I go. Minus 27 right now. Oh my goodness. This is without wind chill, huh? So it's gonna be cold. So with wind chill, it's, what did you say? That is something. <gasps> no. Moment to say that I want you, you know that I want you. back 
from the test. It was very, very quick, like five minutes. Very, very expensive. It was $300. Normally it's like 150, which is a more normal price to get results the same day, but they didn't have any appointment slots open for me for that kind of test. They could only do the emergency test, which you get the results within one or two hours. So that's why there's a hefty price tag but that's the only thing that I could do in order to make my flight on time. So that plus two long Uber rides, but in order for me to go home and see my person, this is a very small price to pay. So now I'm going to check in for my deadhead flight to Toronto and the shuttle's gonna pick me up in 45 minutes. So hopefully I'll be able to get some breakfast at the airport. I just got a chicken panini from Booster Juice, so now I'm just gonna go wait for my dead hut and the day begins. Will you make your way towards VR. We landed at the airport maybe an hour and a half ago and I rushed back to where I crash when I'm in Vancouver at my brother's apartment. I got some delicious noodles from across the street and I'm going to finish packing my suitcase. It is so messy in here. There's too much going on. I'm going to run back to the airport as soon as I can once I get all my forms and papers printed out or on my phone, whatever I need to do for um Aruba and then get on the last flight I think is the last flight of the night and head back to Toronto literally where I just was and then I should make the early morning flight back to Aruba tomorrow morning so that is the itinerary thank you so much for watching this vlog I hope you enjoyed I'm gonna end it here please give it a like and a subscribe and leave a comment below and say where you're watching from that would warm my heart so much so have a great day and I'll see you next time.